Welcome everyone. Kevin Carpenter back with another interview and this time a little uh, something a little different with Colin Dow here from Undo. And you know, I've interviewed Greg a lot, but uh, Colin, tell us about what you do with Undo. So at Undo, I am part of the accounts team for North and South America. And I'm a frequent goer to a lot of the C++ events around the world. So awesome to see you. Awesome to talk and thanks for having me. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that, you know, I think I saw you at ACCU. I missed you at CPP on C, but still saw other members and, and, you know, of course here. And I mean, I don't think there's a C++ conference that in one way or another undo doesn't, you know, help support coming and exhibiting and just being part of the community. Yeah, I think it's huge uh, to be part of the CCP community. We also do a lot of the local meetup groups as well. So we definitely like to immerse ourselves in the culture and work with the people and most importantly, like network with the teams and everybody while we're there. That's so cool. So I'm curious, what was your first CPP con? Do you remember? Last year was actually my first one um, because we mixed up and we didn't do one the year before. And then there was COVID the years before that. So last yep. year was my first time in the mix. And oh man, it was a blast. So you're excited to come back this year? Oh, I can't wait. Honestly, we've been doing a bunch of prep. We have some really cool giveaways and other events that we're working on. Um, and I'm really excited to see some of the people that we work with, meet some of the new teams that, you know, might have interest in understanding what a reverse debugger is. And then on top of that, uh, you know, Greg's going to be speaking. A lot of my clients are going to be speaking. And there's other just cool talks and social events that you can go and mix it up with. We've gotten to meet so many cool people uh, in all different spaces from all different locations. And, you know, just as an example, last year, um, I met Klaus Idriver, and we were able to set up a local Munich C++ group uh, meetup after meeting him in the courtyard while we were just socializing for drinks, where we did a cool little presentation with Greg as well that got into a completely different uh, piece on helping debugging and target markets that, you know, we wouldn't typically meet up with uh, inside of music. So really, really cool to kind of be spread out and then get to meet such a diverse group of people. You know, it's, it's interesting because seeing Greg give talks, it's like, okay, if, if you do anything in Linux with GDB or, or anything in debugging, you know, and that's so, so Greg's talk this time is back to basics, you know, debugging and testing, um, which I know he was going to do with Mike Shaw, but unfortunately Mike's not going to be there, but Greg will do more than enough justice in like, Whenever I need tips or, you know, actually, whenever I'm feeling that bug that I can't figure out, you know how, like, you have the, you have the Rocky theme you play when you know you really <laughs> need to get this, this, this next thing done. I just go and play the, the Greg Law debug top five. And normally, you know, it's like my bug solves itself. And if yeah. that doesn't do it, then I just have to, you know, come see you and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give us a call. But yeah, he's an absolute wizard. And uh, I know he's been doing a lot of work and refining that talk a lot. But I mean, even just in terms of just general following tips, I, he does have that series that he puts out on LinkedIn that so many people get so much value for, for the uh, GDB tips and tricks that just yeah. follow Greg. And it's a quick little uh, you know tutorial on things that you might not know about that he has such an intricate knowledge of that is usually so helpful. So yeah, I'm excited to see, uh, you know, and. I know a couple of the things, but excited to see what else he's uh, thrown into that talk that he could share out to hopefully make things a lot of bit easier, especially because, uh, I mean, when you're debugging something difficult, you, you definitely need all, need all the help that you can get. So any tips and tricks, I'm sure are generally welcome. Yeah, it's like all the memes you see where, you know, somebody's just kind of melting away. And it's like when you've spent eight hours staring at the same screen of code and made no progress. You know? Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, the dog in the house with everything on fire. It's like everything's fine. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, you know, I'm just kind of curious, but um, <laughs> what kind of goodies this year? Why do we why do we want to come to your booth? <laughs> so this year. We are going to have some cool goodies. The bug mugs will be there. So definitely stop by and grab some of those. Also have some new bottle openers this year. And then some right other on. cool swag. Like we're doing a, a raffle of undo teams. So oh, okay. yeah, what this is is sign up for the raffle, come pop by, and then you can get up to six months free of using undo with a floating license uh, that will allow you, other members of the team, 
be able to use the solution, get familiarized with it, and hopefully solve some of those difficult bugs that we were talking about. I think that also this year, um, something that's pretty cool that we're doing as well, um, as an ode to time machines of all, all kinds, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of an event where we will be giving away a very intricate model DeLorean Lego uh, set that you can build. That's a really cool model. I know. Oh, wow. So I know I'm excited for that and we're keeping the notion of time travel going. So I think that that's going to be a really cool one to check out as well. Oh my gosh, that really is. Oh, I had something else in mind and now I'm just like, oh, DeLorean Lego model. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but right from back to the future. So, Oh, that's awesome. Well, I was going to joke and say, you know, when I did pick up this mug from you, my wife was laughing, you know, because I think I got it at CPP on C and she's like, so is that how they do their recruiting? You know, if you can find the bug in there, is that like, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess it could go both ways. You know, good coffee, bug identification. So, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I appreciate you giving me a bit of time today. I look forward to seeing you at CPP Con. I mean, gosh, I fly out day after next, I'm sure. Because you guys will be there Monday to Wednesday, right? Monday to Wednesday. Yeah, I'll be there all week. Yeah. Okay. I, I love the conference. I'm super excited to be there. Um, so, yeah, I'll be there all week. That's awesome. Well, I will make sure to catch up with you as soon as I see you there. Thank you awesome. again. And yeah. have a safe flight. I'll see you in Aurora. I'll see you soon, man. Take it easy. You too.